How's it going, people? Section 41 of the DNC. Revelation given through Joseph Smith, the prophet, to the church at Kirkland, Ohio. February 4, 1831. The Kirkland branch of the church at this time was rapidly increasing in numbers, and the saints generally were striving to live according to the commandments of the Lord. But the prophet states, Some strange notions and false spirits had crept in among them. Strange notions? Imagine that. See, History of the Church, Volume 1, page 146. Command regarding the observance of the Lord. The uh, observance of the law of the Lord. Promise of greater knowledge. As to the government of the church, Edward Partridge, named as the first bishop under the church. One, hearken and hear, O ye my people, saith the Lord and your God. Ye whom I delight to bless with a great, with the greatest of all blessings, ye that hear me, and ye that hear me not, will I curse that have professed my name with the heaviest of all curses. Cursings, the heaviest of all cursings. With the heaviest of all cursings. Two, hearken. O ye elders of my church, whom I have called, behold, I give unto you a commandment, that ye shall assemble yourselves together to agree upon my word. 3. And by the prayer of your faith, ye shall receive my law, that ye may know how to govern my church, and have all things right before me. 4. And I will be your ruler when I come, and behold, I come quickly. Sorry about that. And ye shall see that my law is kept. 5. He that receiveth my law and doeth it, the same is my disciple, and he that saith he receiveth it, and doeth it not, the same is not my disciple, and shall be cast off, shall be cast out from among you. And shall be cast out from among you. Six. For it is not meet that the things which have belonged to the children of the kingdom should be given to them, that are not worthy, or to dogs, or the pearls to be cast before swine. 7. And again, it is meet that my servant Joseph Smith Jr. should have a house built in which to live and translate. Just give the guy a house and pay the printer, even if you have to put your farm up, uh, you know. Put a, another mortgage on your farm. It's for the greater good. You're going to pay the printer and give this guy a house. Eight. And again, it is meet that my servant Sidney Richmond should live as seemeth him good, inasmuch as he keepeth my commandments. Nine. And again, I have called my servant Edward Partridge, and I give a commandment that he should be appointed by the voice of the church to be ordained a bishop under the church to leave his merchandise and to spend all his time in the labors of his church. Ten. To see to all things as it shall be appointed unto him in my laws in the day that I shall give them and this because his heart is pure before me. And he probably has good management skills. Being that he had all this merchandise that he has to give up so he can work full time for the church. Better make him a bishop. 
for he is like unto Nathaniel of old, in whom there is, is no guile. 12. These words are given unto you, and they are pure before me. Wherefore, beware how you hold them, for they are to be answered upon your souls in the last day of judgment, even so. Amen. And that's it for 41. And that's about all I can stand. It's early in the morning. Get ready to head back to the city. Anyway, I hope you learned something if you were paying attention. I wasn't. Let me know what it was. And stay tuned for more DNC and BOM. Peace. The fuck out. Have a wonderful. Whatever the fuck it is you're having. And 